Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again <laughs> with the love of my life. I know a lot of people out there are like, why is he on your channel full time now? Well, I'm not over him yet. I'm kind of close, but not that much. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, you you know what people are over though? Jeffree Star. You can have this bag. Oh my gosh, you're wearing your ring. I'm not wearing my ring. I always forget to put it on because I always take it off and I leave it downstairs on top of my opal ice maker because I figure I love my opal ice maker so much and I love you so much that I would just put them together. Is anybody else like that? You take off your wedding ring, engagement ring, all of that and stick it somewhere when you're home because you don't want to scratch it? I'm so scared of scratching my ring. I don't know. I like raked it across a screw the other day and thought it was the end of the world. You not like that? That's not that. Well, yours is scratch proof. His is scratch proof. So therefore he has nothing to worry about with that. But I have caught him a few times taking it off and sticking it somewhere and then losing it. And then losing it. Whatever. But it was really in my pocket because I was like, oh, where's your ring? Where's your ring? But now we're here. We're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Jeffrey once <laughs> again. Jeffrey's in the drama. Now you guys know from yesterday, Jeffrey was called out because of Trisha. Yeah. And that hair guy. The hair guy. Can we talk about the hair guy real quick for a second? Because he was all big and bad. And he was sitting there saying that he beats people up. That people should be scared of him. That he's not going to be dumb with someone until they're anorexic. All this kind of stuff. But couldn't take the heat on social media and decided that he was going to lock down his Instagram profile after trying to dump a bunch of pictures of celebrities that he's worked with. I think he's worked with Chrissy Teigen, Kylie Jenner. He does Nikita's hair. No one's excited about that. You know, you know what that. the common thread between all them people are? Is? My, my. Nobody likes any of them. Nobody really likes any of them. <laughs> so he was dumping all these pictures, and then I guess the heat got really bad, or maybe Jeffrey like picked up the phone and said, you know what, you really effed up on this one. And no, he, he locked girl. it down. He no, locked he it down. I had a clip of this one dancing. Like, I did not know what this guy looked like. I thought that somebody who's going to be sitting online saying they're going to beat people up, they people should be scared of them, and all this would be like someone that you could look at, and you'd be like, oh, wow, I'm intimidated. But, girl, clip right here. <laughs> I'm not. So... Moving on from that, Jeffrey is being called out. Because every time Again. he does these mystery boxes. Well, this isn't even a mystery box thing. Well, I mean, mm. it is, but it's not. Mm. It was an exclusive. Back in, I believe, February. It was It was uh, the Valentine's mystery boxes. Mm. He released a lip gloss called Succulent, right? Uh -huh. It was supposed to be exclusive he to this mystery box. He said that it was never being made again, is what I've heard. Yeah, he did say that. Mm -hmm. He did say that. I've looked mm -hmm. everywhere. I can't find the clip. But there is another YouTuber that did do a review on it that says it's limited edition. I've got a lot of DMs mm. myself about this. I've received a ton since last night. People are not happy with the fact that he said it was never going to be made again. Now, it is a year later, so some people are posing the argument like it's never going to be made again. Maybe he just meant in this year. No, no, I don't no. take it that way. Never going to be made again means never going to be made Which, again. In my opinion, by saying this is never going to be made again, that is going to drive dedicated fans like, oh, I have to get this. This is something yeah. that I'm not going to be able to get my hands on ever again. Yep. But you know, when it comes to influencers and their brands and collabs that they do, it's all I, lies. Star I started to think this back when Bunny did um, the Graveyard Girl. She did a thing with Tart, oh, God. and it was limited edition. And this is when they I first that started to notice. Like times, it was girl. never taken off. It was always for sale. You had it with Jacqueline Hill um, and something that she did. I was very surprised that Jacqueline Hill actually got rid of her highlighters. Mm -hmm. The good ones that she released because those, I guess... They were supposed to be for holiday. They lasted like two years. Now it, they're for holiday again. You, nothing is ever, when it comes from a YouTuber, mm -hmm. nothing is ever special edition. Yeah. So whenever you hear someone say it's limited edition, it's never going to be launched again, nine times out of ten, closer to the ten, it's <laughs> going to come back and it's going to stay. They are saying that to drive people to get their products really quick mm -hmm. because it is a cash. It's all about the cash, you guys. I'm not going to say cash grab because there's some people out there that get very upset about that. <laughs> saying things about people's business, but... A lot of these influencer products, they are a cash grab. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but the thing, like, I've worked in sales for a mm. very long time. Like, you had to build anticipation, but build you can build anticipation without lying. Mm. Like, Manny is a good example of building anticipation without lying because Manny, uh, he talks about how he sold out, but mm. he then talks about how it's going to take him months to, to get to re get to get it restocked. So mm. he's building anticipation without saying, "Oh, this is limited edition. You're not going to be yeah. able to get this again." He's going to say, "You're going to be able to get it again, but you have to wait." Oh, well, my favorite is when influencers say something is going to be limited edition, or they come online and they're like, "Oh my god, it's sold out within two minutes. Oh my god, thank you guys so much." 
three days later, Jacqueline. guess what's back in stock magically? Over a million units we have now to sell you guys. <laughs> like, I don't believe anything that comes out of an influencer's mouth when it comes to a product. That this, this has honestly been exposed time and time and time and time mm. again within the beauty community, how YouTubers, especially lie. in the beauty community, lie about stuff like this. To make money. I mean, they lie to make money. I mean, there's do. nothing wrong with making money, but make honest money. Make like, honest money. You don't want to lie. Like, if you lie to people that, like, support you, mm. they're going to feel some kind of way about it. Because mm. I've, I've got a bunch of DMs of people very upset by this. A lot. But there is a clip of a YouTuber, and I think her name is uh, Sarize. I don't want to say it wrong. Where she actually talks about how it's a limited edition, and mm. that's the whole reason why she got it. That's the whole reason for the video. So you should put that in here. I will. All right, right here. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here, and for today's video, I have a single Jeffree Star lipstick. Well, not a lipstick; it's a lip gloss for you guys. This is the limited edition Jeffree Star the gloss in shade Succulent. So I got this one in my mystery box. And it is so freaking beautiful. I thought what I would do is do a single lipstick review on it just so you guys can see it. So let's go back to these mystery boxes real quick because a lot of people get excited about mystery boxes. And in my opinion, maybe some people can confirm or deny this or just have an argument about it down in the comment section. I do not get excited about mystery boxes, especially from a beauty brand, because in my opinion, that is them trying to get rid of extra stock that could be coming up yeah. on the expiration date. That's yeah. why with Jeffrey's mystery boxes, a few times you have seen like mold in some of these lip yeah. glosses or like the lipsticks and all that. So I don't get excited about it. It's just a way for them to dump inventory. Yeah. You know, what mystery really boxes is. I get excited about are the ones over there on eBay because you never know what you're going to get. Well, we should do some of those uh, for our uh, couple channel. Mm -hmm. But um, there are some mystery boxes that you can uh, sign up for that aren't beauty related that are interesting. Mm -hmm. Like I saw the, um, the what is it, Nickelodeon box. They have a Nickelodeon box. There's uh, something else. I want to get a whole bunch of those and do those. But I like, like the 420 the, boxes. <laughs> to me, I feel like I don't like, unless it's something that I'm really into, like mm -hmm. Nickelodeon, like 90s nostalgia. I don't want to spend my money on something that I don't know that I'm going to get a return mm. on my money on. Could you imagine spending it like, because some of these mystery boxes I think Jeffrey does are upwards of $100. $100 for the big one. And that's $100. the one that always sells out like first. Like the past few times he's done mystery boxes, mm -hmm. like the smaller ones, they've taken like a few days to sell out. But that big one, I think he like stocks like five of them and they're just gone. Honestly, to me, it was shady as hell for him. Yep. Like you imagine like. No, it's very shady. I can't think of some, a good scenario, but like imagine Ariana Grande mm. said this is a, a one-time only thing, and she released like a single on a, like a vinyl or something, mm. and she made like a thousand of them, right? And she's like, oh, in her little whistle voice, mm -hmm. there's only gonna be like a thousand of these made. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> oh wow! And then like move over, Ariana. <laughs> and then like six months later, she's like, oh, we're we're gonna make more. Yep. She would get dragged, girl. She would get dragged. She would get dragged. She would get dragged. A hundred percent. What is that? I don't know. A girl. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that reminded me of that video of that little girl where she's like, did you hear that? There's nothing to wear. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I don't know what was that, guys. And I didn't do that. Oh, and yeah. Was she's like, like uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that <laughs> She's like, that wasn't me. <laughs> well, that's what it reminded me of. You know, actually, before we end this video, someone who did mystery boxes correct, and I don't know if it's because they just didn't have a lot of items that they oh, could yeah, make these all see. different. Manny MUA did mystery boxes correct when he did it the one time. I don't. I, I remember him twice. doing them, but I don't. Twice remember, I, I don't it. remember what he did with them. It was so. good. They were good. Look up the Manny MUA mystery boxes if you guys don't know what I'm talking well, about. Well, see, there we go. Props to Manny because Manny mm. he. May, he builds anticipation mm -hmm. correctly, and he does mystery boxes correctly. Good for Manny. Good for Manny. And with that said, everyone, that's it for this video. All right, bye, Thank you guys, guys for tuning in, and goodbye.